Hello there. Today I'm going to be reacting and breaking down on Aerophobia Nesorax theme raid version from Destiny 2. Boom! Okay. Started pretty mean already. Yeah, the, the brass is super massive. Certainly giving a lot of conflict, struggle, tension. changed a little bit here became a little bit more open wow, this is frenetic changes That solo female vocal line adds so much balance. That was awesome. And now we come back to the shorts, you know, the short articulations which are s add so much tension and conflict to the song. It adds a lot of rhythm too. Oh. Yeah, the brass is killing it. So many accents in the brass. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the female when the female vocals come come in comes in. It's such such a cool layer. The low end in this track is very satisfying. You know, I did some research on the word onerophobia, and it turns out it means fear of dreams. So perhaps Nesorek is a being that invades people in their dreams, you know, for no good, <laughs> turning dreams into horrible nightmares. But it could also be a mind flayer type of character that takes possession of your mind and lifts you dreaming horrible things. So if that is the case, is the music aligned with that premise? 
For starters, the song has an emphasis on massive brass arrangements, full of short articulations and accents that make the song retain a high threshold of conflict and menace. But also the strings also speak of a being of huge strength and might. However, like I have explained in other Destiny 2 breakdowns, this song also has cues that represent different phases of the raid. There is a couple of cues that offer an interesting balance to the doom and gloom of the opening ones, which give a glimpse of a possible victory outcome for the player. by giving him a more heroic feel. And perhaps the most important layer of the song is the solo female voice, singing the theme of a song in different parts. Her performance in some parts can be harrowing, but also quite soothing and encouraging. I also took the liberty of looking at some pictures of Nazarak, and I noticed that he has these glowing tentacles on his back, which remind me of Tyrael from Diablo. They do look like divine wings, so perhaps we're going further into sort of a godlike theme here. Perhaps he is a god, he is a deity. And maybe that is why the solo vocals are included, because they do sound heavenly. By the way, if you made it this far, thank you so much. So while you're at it, why don't you dream of pushing that like button? I think it's cool that we have an actual drum set here instead of conventional orchestral percussion. Oh, it changed here. It became now it's an a heroic cue. Favorite, my favorite part is when the female vocals comes in. <laughs> yeah. And you see, we come back to the meanness. This is a contrast to the heroic part that we just um, heard. This, ha this song has such cool accents all the way through. <laughs> that symbol right there was pretty cool.
I really like the counter melody here. It's going nuts. This is so dark. Now, surprisingly enough, following the premise of the nightmare, this song is not really so much about the horrors one could face in a nightmare, but about Nazareth himself, about his might and power. If this song were to be more nightmarish and horrifying, we would need polycores and clusters in the queues to get that feel, which is something that I explained more in depth in this Dead Space video that I made. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, check this other Destiny reaction that I did, alright? I'll see you there.